Common title questions on this episode of Title Tuesdays. Thanks for watching. My name is Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO here at Independence Title, also known as your Title King. Today I want to talk about common title insurance questions that we see in the industry. When I go to networking events or when clients come in for closing or they're calling to inquire about whether to do business with us or somebody else, they always ask usually the same type of questions. So the first question is, are prices regulated? And I'm here to tell you today that not all title companies are equal. Prices here in the state of Florida are regulated. There's what's called the promulgated rate for title insurance, which means I have an amount for an owner's title insurance policy that I can charge you. Why is it that some title companies charge more? Well, as long as it's disclosed, they're allowed to do that. There are some title companies that charge two, three, four, five hundred dollars more than promulgated rate. So if you go to our website, titlerate.com, our closing cost calculator, that'll give you an idea of what promulgated rate is. So you know if your title company's charging you more, you have some negotiations to them or maybe don't do business with them in the future. Second question I always get asked is what coverages do I need? Like any uh, insurance policy, there are different types of coverage for different types of transactions. If we were doing a refinance, we would be issuing what's called a lender's title insurance policy to protect the lender from the day of closing backwards to the day you purchase the property and then further backwards. If you're a buyer and you're purchasing, we issue you what's called a owner's title insurance policy. And remember, a lot of people are telling you it's optional because on that new closing disclosure, it discloses title insurance as two full premiums. But if you're buying a home and getting a loan, there's what's called a simultaneous issue. So that second title insurance policy that they're telling you is going to cost hundreds of dollars really only costs $25. So always don't go off of that paperwork. If your lender's telling you you don't need title insurance, it's not worth you buying, but they want it because they want to protect themselves as the lender, you should always ask that question. So what coverages do you need? An owner's title insurance policy and a lender's title insurance policy are the two policies that we issue on a purchase and sale transaction. Who usually pays is a number one question as well, because a lot of times here in Broward County, the buyer pays for title, and in Palm Beach County and North, the seller pays for title. So every county is different depending on who pays for title. I get a lot of clients that bring me a contract and they want to use me, but on the contract it has a different title company, and I ask them, who is doing the closing? And they say, well, they said they will, but I'd like my own. And I have to go through the explanation that typically the person that pays for title insurance is the person that selects the title insurance company. So if you're a buyer in Broward County, you have the right to select your title company if you're paying for title insurance. And up a little north here, Palm Beach County and further north, a lot of times the seller pays, but that's not a guarantee. It depends. Sometimes the buyer can pay, sometimes the seller can pay. It's all about the negotiations of the transaction. The tip I want to give you is if you're paying for title insurance, you select the title company. Do not allow them to bully you into using someone else that may not be looking out for your best interest. Remember, as a title company, I tell people all the time, I'm an independent third party. I'm not representing the buyer. I'm not representing the seller. I'm not representing the lender. I am an independent third party looking out for the best interest of everyone, acting as an escrow agent. All title companies aren't the same. A lot of times they're looking out for one party or the next. So just vet your clients before, uh, or your title company before you decide to do business with them. That takes me into the next one is why is the seller pushing a certain title company? You need to just be aware. Realtors, mortgage brokers, and, and sellers or buyers, there are people in this industry that will push to use a certain title company. And sometimes it's great and sometimes it's not great. So what's the common reason that a lot of people will push? Because they have maybe an in-house title company where the owner of the real estate company is getting uh, a fee based on the amount of closings or maybe they own a portion of the title company inside their office. So you just wanna make sure, are they referring someone because they're the best at what they do? Or are they referring somebody because there's a vested interest in using that company. So maybe the realtor gets certain benefits if they use the in-house title company. So you just want to ask the questions. They may be great. As we talked about on a previous video with testimonials and, and referrals, go look them up. Look at the reviews of the company and say, do you have reviews 
on social media? Do you have clients that are giving you positive reviews? And if they have five or 10 positive reviews, you know they're probably a good company and they're a good company to do business with. If they have some weird email like a Bell South email or an AOL email and they have no testimonials, they don't have a Facebook page, they don't have a website, you probably wanna be careful doing business with them. They may just do a few transactions for that specific company and you may not get the service that you're paying for. And most importantly, if you were to have a claim, you wanna make sure you have someone to stand behind that claim and take care of it for you. Who do you trust? You need to do your own research. Who can you trust in this industry? I could tell you that at Independence Title, our clients trust us explicitly. We will stand behind our product or service. We will step in and defend the claim instead of farming you off to somebody else and saying, well, we can't help you go file a title claim. We facilitate that title claim if there was a problem. So I'm here to tell you that who can you trust? You need to vet them yourself. Maybe go online, see their testimonials, talk to the owner of the company or one of the, the um, senior managers at the company to see what can you offer me? What type of service? Why are you different than somebody else? And last but not least, we're talking about how much reassurance do I need? Well, you need to make sure, A, the company's licensed. You need to make sure they have all of their insurance policies in place. Don't be afraid to ask them for a letter from their underwriter showing they're in good standing. Don't be afraid to ask them when was the last time your escrow account was audited. Our escrow account is audited on the first or second of every single month. So at the end of the statement, at the end of the month, by the first or the second, our audit is sent over to the underwriter. They're looking at it and they respond back immediately if they have any questions on it. And we've passed our audit year over year for the last 15 years without any issues. So it's very, very important to do your own research to see how much reassurance do you need that the person that's insuring the title to your property will still be there and will stand by you should you have a claim. So I hope you learned something new. If you have any questions, as always, reach out to me. I'm always here as a resource to hopefully answer some of those questions that maybe I confused you a little bit. Thanks for watching, give me a thumbs up, subscribe below. As always, Kevin Thatcher, the owner of Independence Title. I look forward to seeing you at the closing table.